the spread operator comes to C-sharp 12 with collection expressions allowing you to join arrays, spans and lists together into one object. Stay tuned as we'll also show you a syntax change. Hit the subscribe button as we look at collection expressions. Prior to C-sharp 12, if we wanted to create a new array, span or list, we'd have to specify the type that we're creating, which leads to a lot of code bloat, which you can see here. But with collection expressions in C-sharp 12, we can simplify this. So first of all, we're going to specify the, the variable type. So that's an int array. This is a span of int. And the last one is a list of int. As a result of these changes, we can go ahead and simplify this. So we can effectively just add square brackets around there and specify the values that we wish to have as part of our list. So we can do that for each of them. And as you can see, that's reduced a lot of code bloat. Spread operator, which has been very popular in JavaScript, finally makes its appearance in C-sharp. This allows us to join collections together into one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to join A, B and C into one int array. So in order to do that, we need to specify a variable as an int array. And then we can go ahead and we add two dots. We're going to join A, B and C together. And we're going to add some additional values in there. So we're going to add 19 and 32. Now we're going to go ahead and print each of these out into our console app to make sure that they're joined together. So we're going to loop through each value and write it to the console. So we're going to write the value, we're going to run it. And as we can see, it's outputting all the values from A, B and C, as well as our two additional numbers of 19 and 32. If you're looking for a job as a .NET developer, check out our C-sharp coding challenges. Go to roundthecode.com slash challenges. A collection expression can be converted into many different collection types. And these include some that we've just specified like a span or a read-only span, arrays or inline arrays, as well as a list. This usually means that the requirement means the type also supports an I enumerable. That means we can specify any of those collection types as part of our join collection type. So at the moment we specified it as an int array, but we can go ahead and we could change it to a span of an int. We could also change it to a read-only span, or we can change it to a list. We're going to leave it as a list, and when we run the console app now, we should still see the same values are being outputted, including our two extra ones there. C Sharp 12 also includes primary constructors where you can add parameters to classes. In addition, it also allows you to use dependency injection with those parameters. Watch that video next to find out how you can use them.